What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we are going to go over how much MT I'm actually going to get back off doing the AD. Before we get into the video, man, make sure to smash the like button. Let's get 150 likes on this video because you know what? You guys are supportive. And I just got Anthony Davis, man. Not a lot of people in this game do get AD. Uh, likes would be greatly appreciated. Also, drop the sub. We're on the road to 11K. Once we hit 11k, we are going to do giveaways on Instagram and Twitter, so follow those links in the description. We're also selling and, and we're selling MT on PS4 and Xbox, so make sure to hit me up for that. Let's get into it. So we're gonna go over the cost pretty much to get AD. Now, like I said, I did not do any of these sets. I did not do the domination set. I didn't do any of these. Um, this is all I did. I did so I did most of it. I'm not gonna say I did it all. But here it is, man. Dominations didn't even touch the Sims. They didn't even touch the Sims. I have a lot of cars left, and I still got Anthony Davis. How did I do it? So I'm going to go over all of these, man. We have so much stuff to sell. It is insane. Here's just like a little bit of it, like a little bit of the stuff that we are going to sell. It is absolutely crazy, man. Um, I just shocked on how much stuff I actually have to sell. So here it is, man. I don't even know how much it comes to. I guess we're going to go over it quickly. We're going to go over how much MT it really does cost if you didn't do any of those cards. We're going to show you guys how much MT it really is. So let's get into it. So whew, um, I'm going to say this set goes for around 50K. So let's say this set's 50K. This set is, oof, this set's a lot. This set is a lot of money. This set's like 300K, 350K. Oh my God. Okay. So, mm. It's going to be hard to go over all of this, but I just want to show you how much stuff I have in my auctions. We have these, we have these. I have everything filled. Do you know how much MT this all costs? Like this, I honestly, going over it and all, I think it cost at least 10 million MT. I don't think anything under than 10 mil MT. 10 mil MT for AD, but now why is it so worth it? First off, you get the best power forward center in the game. Okay, you also get Dwayne Wade, which is actually one of the best point guard shooting guards in the game. He's pretty much all 99. I literally use him as Curry. I don't even drive with him. So is it worth it? My opinion. Let's go over to collector level. We're going to show you a lot of things in this video. I'm going to try to get your collector level up as well. We're going to go over a lot of cheap cards. A lot of cards you should sell to make MT. So my opinion, I think it's worth it up to here. If you could fish for a 750, that's pretty deadly. These cards, I don't even know why they're in the game. This Pippin's pretty good if you get him to Opal, but they just dropped the new Opal Pippin, which kind of gets me so tight, because why would you have him in the collector levels if you could get him to Opal, but then they drop one with money, and it's not even... You know what I'm saying? It's kind of BS. It's kind of crazy that you have to grind all this to get an Opal Scotty, and then they just drop another one. That's so foul, in my opinion. It's pretty worth it. I would say Scotty's pretty good, though. The Pink Diamond Scotty does play. is very good. I do not have him evolved yet, but he's very good evolved. Um, next, we got 750 tokens, which is an Opal. In my opinion, 2,500 cards should be double that, in my opinion. So is it really worth it? Yeah, I guess. This Sabonis needs a huge upgrade. This Sabonis card is terrible. I'm going to show you the stats. Um, I don't know, man. I, I No, the, the Sabonis card is terrible. Comparing him to Bull Bull, dude, a fake card. I mean, uh, let's compare him to Bull Bull. Um, if we could. Wait, no. No, 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 no. We got to do replace player. Here we go. Okay. So comparing him to Bull Bull. I mean, Bull Bull is better in every category. It's kind of sad. Um, he, he's so much better. So much faster. And it makes no sense in my opinion. So for 150k which is about 20, 30, 20 to $30 of MT price, you could get this bowl bowl. Now, also bonus MT price is around 5 mil, at least 5 mil. So if you do think about it, this card for around 5 mil is so bad, and he only has 22 Hall of Fame badges. That is something disgusting, I have to say. I did just upgrade bowl bowl to a I fully evolved bowl bowl. 
He's amazing. But what the frick, man? I don't know. So bonus isn't really worth it either. I'm just going to say this. The cards that are worth it for the MT is Wade and AD. If you cannot get up to Wade and AD, I would recommend selling every single card in your collection because there is no point of having it, in my opinion. So now, um, like I said, it costs at least 15 mil. Here's some of the cards I sold. Also, man, if you guys don't know, they're dropping Moment Super Packs in this game. Moment Super Packs go for a lot of MT. They're, I mean, they're going to drop the market like crazy. So I would 110% recommend you guys definitely start selling your cards because, man, I'm going to tell you this. The market is going to crash like crazy. All the cheap moments cards that should be cheap that are going for lots of MT are definitely going to drop in value. So I definitely recommend you guys sell. Sell everything you have because... If you don't, you're going to regret it. You're definitely going to regret it. Now, you guys are definitely here for the amount of MT I spent on AD. I'm just going to say this. It's got to be at least 10 mil. Think about this, okay? Um, if you think about it, if you spend a minimum of 1,000 MT on 2,900 cards, okay? That is 2.9 mil, Okay. 2.9 mil that's all a thousand of those cards now they're not a thousand cards they're not a thousand mt as you guys can see all of these cards sold are nowhere near a thousand mt this right here is probably about about a mil i would say maybe a mil not even counting any of these cards so i'm gonna say this i would say a minimum of 2.9 or a minimum of ten thousand a piece a minimum at least 10,000 a piece. We might even be talking minimum 15 to 10, 20 mil. That's what I'm going to say. So 2.9 times 10,000 is around what? 29,000? 29 million? If that math is right, I don't think it's right at all. But dude, I'm talking about I think 20 mil at least for AD. 20, 20 mil, 15 to 20 mil for AD. Now, once you do get that AD, you could sell every single car in your collection. We're talking about jerseys. Jerseys go for a thousand. Uh, we're talking about these cards, these terrible cards, these terrible moment cards that hold so much value for 9,000 MT, 10,000 MT. Who knows how? It's because they're so rare. Now, super packs are coming. I would 110% recommend you guys sell everything you have. Anything in your collection, please go sell. Um, all these cards, all these sets, they somehow still have value. Who knows why? Who knows why anybody would want these cards? But yeah, they still have value. Who knows why? If you guys continue, if you guys really want to get the AD, now's a good time because the market has crashed. I would say that. But is it worth it? Is it worth it? Do you guys have 15 mil? Because I know a lot of people were definitely trying to buy MT and complete AD, but they didn't even realize how much it really takes. How much does it really take to get AD? I'm going to say this. If you're not a grinder, you don't play domination, you didn't play the single player TTO, you didn't do all this stuff. I'm going to say one thing. You are going to not get AD. You need at least, if you're not buying MT or you're not buying VC, you don't have the money for that. I'm going to say you need minimum. You're going to need a minimum of at least 20, 10 mil minimum. That's so minimum. It's scary. You need at least really like 15 mil. So 15 mil for AD. Is it worth the grind? You're going to get it back. Probably lose a lot of MT. But still, 15 mil, if you want to make MT, you could sell it right back to people. You could make your money back. So I don't know, man. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? In my opinion, if you've been playing since day one and you're a grinder, I think it's worth it. I really do think it's worth it. You do get the best card in the game. I think it's worth it. But yeah, um, I'm trying to think. 15 mil MT sounds reasonable, in my opinion. It definitely does sound reasonable. I think 15 mil is definitely the number. I would say to get AD because you have to think about as you get towards the end, you're going to have to buy cards that go for 40 to 50 to 60 to 70 K. That's what happened to me. I had to do it, man. I had no other choice to buy those cards. So that's what I did. And now I'm selling them. I'm going to take, it's going to take you hours to sell these cards because a lot of these cards definitely are like not like they're just so rare. No one even wants them in their collection. Like these, these Ruby cards are, I haven't been in packs for months. So we're going to see how much they go for. Other than that, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to try to get all our MT up and show you guys how much MT we got in one video. But yeah, that is all we got for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace.